I like to do something so that you can, most of y'all that I re know of out here have given a testimony about having heard us about the first time you heard me. And I've told you about this lady up in Indiana and how that she found one of my DVDs in a Goodwill store. Y'all have heard that, haven't you? Well, she's here. And, uh, and I want to ask Patricia to come up here with her, with her granddaughter. She's a, she's a sweet girl. I love her. She's just a gentle soul. Well, I can get this out. Somebody help me. Pete, can you help me with the choir? Just take this and just, I want you to just come over here, youngin. <laughs> and I want you to just talk to them and tell them how you found the tape and how it affected you and what affected you and the response. Okay. Hi. Um, my name is Patricia Donaldson, and I'm from Hammond, Indiana, and I'm the one that found the tape at the Goodwill that God planted there for me to find. And um, that's it. I found this is a tape, tape number seventeen twelve, and I I used to buy a whole lot of tapes for thirteen cent, and I would copy over them uh, songs as I was in the choir at my old church. And I would listen to all the other pastors, <coughs> and I would copy over the tapes. I would listen for a few seconds, and I would copy over them. And this one that I put in, it said, you must be blood baptized. So that caught my ear. And I took the tape, and I, um, or I asked my husband, I said, what's a blood baptism? He said, oh, that's nothing. Throw it in the garbage. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, took the tape and I put it in my uh, desk drawer in my office. You separated. From I separated the other from all the other tapes, and I kept it there for a whole year. And I knew it was in my drawer, but I didn't know what was in it. So I went to take the tape out a year later to erase it again, and um, I put it back in the tape machine to hear what it, hear what it was about, and. Um, then I heard him talking about the Pentecostalism, Baptist, false doctrine, the Charismatics, and it just caught my ear. And I listened to it for like five times that day. The next morning I woke up, the next morning, I knew it was something different because I had been searching for the truth and I knew that the church I was in wasn't truth. Uh, it just didn't feel right. And um, the next morning I woke up, I uh, called Pastor uh, Jim, I sent him an email, I went online and um, wrote down about 20 other tapes that I wanted to hear. I didn't know he had DVDs. And then he called me the next day and told me, don't go back in that church. <laughs> and, uh, and I said, who is this? You know, he said, don't you go back in those churches. Are you here? I said, well, where am I supposed to go? What church am I supposed to go to? And he said, you stay at home. I'll send you a copy of my DVDs. So I said, okay. I st something told me to be quiet. So I was... <laughs> so I... Um, because I was going to tell him, you know, he said, forget everything you ever learned. And, and I, you know, I had learned a lot, I thought, in uh, the Pentecostal church that I was from. I'm from a oneness uh, uh, Pentecostal church, the United. Bad news. Yes. And um, I was very confused in there. No one could answer my questions. I asked question after question, and all they did was say, uh, Patricia, Sister Patricia, just keep worshiping, keep worshiping, come to the meeting, we'll answer all your questions, and they never did for eight years. So I left, I left six months before I, f I put the tape back in, uh, I had left the other uh, church, and um, when Pastor Jim sent me the DVDs, I didn't even know he was on TV, it just changed my whole world, and my whole life, everybody started hating me when I started, <laughs> when I started, when I started preaching about predestination. And um, I just stand strong and I, I rest now. And anything that's happening, I know God is uh, in control of everything and it's for your own good. So this has really changed my life and now I know how to rest and I'm not wrestling like I used to. And, and panicking when something happens. Oh, well, that's God, <laughs> you know. I said, you better get in the truth. You so, got to tell them about coughing the demons into the bag. Okay, well, <laughs> I, I went to a deliverance church one day, and um, it was a Pentecostal church, but it wasn't my old church, it was another one. And um, my daughter, 
and a lot of other people were sitting there and they were passing around bags to cough the demons in. And my daughter had one of the bags. I, I didn't have a bag, but she was over there coughing in the bag, spitting in the bag. And I went over there and I took the bag from her and I said, what's in that bag? Nothing's in that bag. I said, sit back, you know. It's I just spit. Said, right, I didn't believe it. I just didn't believe it was demons in there, and I didn't see nothing falling out of her mouth or anything. So, so I told her to sit back, and she looked at me like, what are you doing? I shocked her, because I went on and I said, let me see what's in that bag. So I looked in the bag, and it wasn't nothing. I said, sit back and fold your hands, you know? But uh, it was just, people would come and knock you in the head and fall, <laughs> knock you down, and uh, I was told I was going to hell for uh, cutting my hair and uh, wearing jewelry and makeup and anything. I was preach that every day. You're going to hell for cutting hair. You're going to hell if you wear makeup or jewelry or pants. And I was in the um, oneness church and they only they don't believe in the Trinity. They only believe uh, they believe that God is three and one and and all that it goes on and on. I was taught so much false doctrine after I uh, looked at all the DVDs I did over three thousand five hundred hours in two years. I just sat there for um, eight, nine, ten hours a day um, looking at the DVDs. I just couldn't get enough. And every time I get upset or anything, I just go put a DVD in and that <laughs> changes my whole attitude. So I'm just thankful that I can't believe I'm here. And I, I wanna, I've been trying to reach souls. Um, my husband, he hears some of the truth, but he's not ready to admit it. And he, has, he makes copies of the DVDs for me. <laughs> and I pass them out and he, doesn't want to look at them. Well, he tells me he doesn't, but I just pray that one day, if it's God's will, that he will be standing up here one day, you know. And um, I know it's a long, hard walk, but you have to walk this walk, and it's hard, but it's easy once you uh, know the truth and know that God is with you. So I'm just resting, and I'm happy to be here and meet all my family. Love you. Love you. This is granddaughter here. This is granddaughter. And what's her name? This is tell them. Clevana Jones. Clevon. Like, I said like Clevon Little. See, I knew somebody named Clevon. Clevana. Hers is Clevana. All right, let me see if I can get this thing back on. I think I can. Yeah, I think I'm okay now. All right. Where we have, we've had a wonderful time, a great picnic yesterday, and uh, I'm going to do something. I, is anybody else here that hasn't ever given a testimony? I'm talking about somebody. 